Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues. And with this video, we're discussing my thoughts on episode 5 of the anime series, Amamatu Inazuma, which was, once again, just adorable and sweet. I love the overall vibe, the sweetness, and the calmness of this series. It is such a relaxing series to watch and always brings a, a sense of warmth and humor, good humor, to my sensibilities. Um, and, and this episode was no exception. You know, I just love this series. I did have myself sort of, you know, perplexed a little while there with Samugi's seeming uh, repulsion to donuts. What was that about? You know, like, effectively, we are introduced to uh, the blonde guy in the OP, Yagi, who is a high school chum of Kohei's, Samugi's dad's. And uh, whenever he can't get a sitter or he's going to be running late or something, and it, you know, coincides with Yagi's lunch period... You know, he basically asks this mutual friend of theirs, can he watch uh, Samugi for a little while? And he does so happily. You know, he's kind of a laid-back guy and everything. And uh, he's buying her all kinds of snacks and everything. But this is where we were introduced to the idea with Samugi's turning him down, uh, you know, when he wants to buy her a bag of donuts, to that concept. Uh, Samugi don't like no donuts. <laughs> and it's kind of like, okay. Um, and she kind of sort of tells him in a very pithy fashion oh well they make you full and all that kind of stuff while she's packing down uh you know like an ice pop which Yagi puts down the back of her shirt as a prank and then he's laughing himself silly you know bags of chips and, and chocolate cigarette looking uh snacks and everything like that which it's hilarious because Katori is just getting done watching like a 007 James Bond kind of movie with her friend from class uh whose name I'm, I'm still wondering what it is I don't think they've actually spoken it in dialogue but um you know it's and we're also introduced to another character quirk of Katori's in that she gets like the snack she wants the most but then once she's done with it she kind of hilariously is lamenting all the ones she wished she could have had as well you know <laughs> that kind of thing she gets a, a sort of you know a tantalizing idea of having pancakes and then she's walking home alone lamenting what she didn't order and all this kind of stuff and, and that's kind of funny I know I've done that you know from time to time in the past like well do I want the cheeseburger do I want the chicken strip dinner you know when I'm out eating in a restaurant or something um but usually I end up liking whatever choice I've made. I don't spend time afterward thinking, I really should have got the burger when I ordered the chicken, you know. Um, so it's funny that, but she absolutely, you know, ramps up her adorability and, and possibly gullibility um, in that she sees Sumugi walking hand in hand with Yagi and she has no idea. Of course she has no idea who he is. And she's thinking something is a foul, like maybe this is a kidnapper or something. She's following them. And as soon as those chocolate cigarette-shaped snacks come out, she immediately jumps up and, and like, scares the hell out of uh, Samuki and just sort of mildly, uh, you know, ruffles the feathers of Yagi, who, again, is a very laid-back individual, because she's afraid that he's trying to give her actual cigarettes and all this kind of stuff, which luckily coincides with Kohei meeting them at this little park that they're in. Uh, so he can kind of set the record straight for Katori and everything. But, you know, Katori has overheard that Sumugi has this sort of repulsion to donuts. And maybe she's a little more perceptive than I am because I, I really was wondering what was up with Sumugi along those lines. Was this a snack, perhaps, that was like a favorite of her mother's and her mother's not there anymore, so she doesn't want to eat them anymore? Was it a snack her mother gave her? Was it something to do with Kohei wanting her to eat more healthy and, like, not wanting her to have too many donuts or something like that, so she's trying to stray away from them? There is this discomforting reaction when Katori makes it known that the thing she wants to make for Samugi next is donuts. You know, basically you have Yagi revealing the fact that Samugi is resistant to them, and this happens in front of Kohei, and immediately Samugi's like, why did you tell him? You know, she gets all really sort of reserved and I didn't know if it was depressed we later find out it's a level of embarrassment but in that moment I was just like wow what what's going on why doesn't she want her daddy to know why does it bother her so much and I was sure there was going to be something much more personal involved so that when we have the reveal toward the end of the episode after they've spent hours upon hours and actually in their first attempt uh burning the donuts and you know failing basically in the making of them it was kind of hilarious that it was just a fact, you know, like this very childlike uh, innocence, this ignorance because Smoogie just doesn't know, are donuts a snack food or are they for meals? <laughs> you know, like, 
I just, it warmed my heart, and I'm sure I blushed with just this sincere happiness of the sweetness. You know, for all of the uh, sort of honey sweet, you know, dip or, or glaze that they put on the donuts and the chocolate that was dripping off the donuts and making Samugi so happy was the sweetness in her revelation that donuts are a thing that I can eat on happy days off with daddy, which sends Kohei teary-eyed and just had me like holding back the tears once again. Just so sweet. This is a happy snack for me and daddy. And it, I loved that. I absolutely just, I, you know, if I couldn't fall in love with these characters that much more, I mean, um, and it was hilarious hearing Samugi recount her day with Yagi going to the arcade and there was this loud boom, 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 and he couldn't win me a toy. And it was amazing, you know, like just that, that very childlike innocence in Samugi, that is her day. And she's just so wowed by it. And then I love that Katori turned the tables and said, you know, since we have so much time between when we, we can make these donuts, she basically says, you know, Kohei, go with your daughter, go to the arcade, have another fun time. Uh, very much like the, the cutesy pics that, you know, Samugi and Yagi had taken and Yagi doesn't want to take them home because he doesn't like the sparkly eyes that they uh, made him out with in the pictures. But, you know, basically Kohei and daughter are doing that as well. And just again with the boom, boom, boom. And you can tell Kohei's like, oh, that was it was too much for him. But again, you know, basically Samugi just had a grand exalted day out with her dad after, you know, spending time with Yagi and everything like that. And then this entire process, it was interesting to see Kohei wanting to return the favor for all the stuff that, you know, Katori has done by cleaning the restaurant and uh, <laughs> almost to the point of annoyance, I think. It was kind of like, you know, Katori was, you know, take your daughter out, but get out of here for a little while. You don't need to clean everything. He's talking about cleaning the freaking ceilings at that point. And then uh, when they're talking about they're needing the dough for the donuts and, you know, they need to take turns because it's going to take eight full minutes of just kneading and kneading and kneading. And at that point, you know, it's like, what's up with Samugi, oh no, is she upset? She's got her eyes closed. She kicked off her little, you know, adorable squeaky shoes that'll get annoying after about five minutes. And she's all in like the zone, you know, it's like, is she upset? Is she depressed? Is she sleepy? Is she bored? And then as soon as they say, let's take turns, boom, she launches up. I've summoned my power. It's my turn. And then she's kneading the dough. And when she's finally tired of it, she's just like, okay, switch. <laughs> So again, just a fantastic, fantastic episode. And to see Katori relishing the happiness and the joy, those tears of joy in Kohei with their, you know, being able to make these donuts and Samugi's chant, I will eat you after, you know, every bite and everything. And the fact that she just laughs incessantly, she absolutely finds it hilarious that her particular donut had no hole because she made it so small. And believe me, it's okay. I'm doing nothing wrong. It's an experiment. So that makes it okay. I just loved her laughter at that. You know, they really ramped up that essence of Sumugi being this, this just adorable child. You know, there's so much in the world she has yet to figure out. What are donuts? Are they a snack? Are they a meal? I don't know. And I'm asking questions and I'm doing it with, you know, in the care of these two great people, my daddy and Katori, my friend. And uh, I loved it. I love, love, love this series. I loved this episode. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. If you loved it as well, love it or hate it, anything goes in the comments below. Just love having that conversation. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for the next episode. Hopefully we'll find out what the hell Katori's friend's name is at some point. And uh, yeah, otherwise it'll be pretty much it for me on this. Hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.